Prabhalda, you serve yeah. on lots of boards. You talk yeah. to promoters, CEOs. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't want to name names. I know who all you interact with. They are really the leading lights of the industry and in some way are pioneers, leaders, opinion makers, influencers. So what are they thinking? Uh, what's on their mind? What are the solutions on their mind? What is their assessment? What is their suggestions? What are the solutions? How are they looking at their own businesses? See, yeah, sure. See, that is a function Anurag, of what the world view is post COVID, right? Okay. What are the changes and trends which will happen? How will the politics shape up? How will the economy shape up? And how the business lifestyles, skills, and workplace shape up? It's a function of two many things in this case. So by and large, I can say, you know, it's my view to some extent and what I hear from people, etc. Much depend on all the choices we make as a people. As a people meaning in India, in different parts of the world, all of that. But certain things will happen, which probably will happen to some extent. Uh, one will be this anti-globalization thing. You know, for right or wrong, that is something which will get some... The rise of nationalism. The rise of yes. individualism. Correct. So that has both positives and negatives, by the way. And in my mind, more negatives than positives. But, so that, but that is something which will get worked on. I mean, that will be something which will happen. In my, in my view, what will probably happen is that it's not that China or other countries will be completely cut off. They are too important in the supply chain, too integrated. Uh, but some part of strategic reserves, etc., will be created by different countries and similarly by different companies as well. So to some extent, a bit of localization will happen, but I don't believe it will be anti-globalization because and, there are too many- And Prabhalda, this, this shift, Japanese yes. companies be moving out of China, right? Yes. And it was, yes. it was also a function of the Chinese uh, domestic demand coming down. Uh, it may Correct. have got accelerated because of what has happened in COVID and other strategic Correct. considerations. It's about American companies finding a new manufacturing base. So do you think the possibility of a substantial part of China manufacturing shifting to India or it is a pipe dream? See, Anurag, you, you know me. I mean, you know I'm a nationalist at heart. In various, my career has shown I never took a job in the, you know, outside the country because of this reason. But I must say that the politicians have let us down generation after generation. That is a fact of life. India has the, we all know that. India has the talent. India has made an India program before that, the other programs. But if we can play our cards well this time and smartly, hopefully, we should and be able to And define playing the cards. And define how. Yes. So what are the define two, three things? Does it, does it mean, do? does it mean setting up a proper but, infrastructure? Investment infrastructure, manufacturing infrastructure? Skill labor. It will mean a lot of things. Yes, it will mean a lot of things. But to start off with, it will mean at least start off funds like the NIIF, right? It was supposed to be a four, four, a four lakh crore fund started by Arun Jaitley five years ago. We have a CEO we got in from IMF or somewhere. He's just, I mean, what has NIIF done to do? Unless we get the basic funding in place to push the infrastructure development of the nature you mentioned. Nothing was going to happen. So we, uh, we, our ports, our roads are still okay, by the way, but ports and airports, right? These are two things which we need in the smallest of, smallest of cities so that the, the, sort of, the sort of cycles which China can provide in terms of delivery, we can. For us to take a thing to a Bombay port or a Madras port takes up, uh, 45 days. How, where will you do it from? So the first thing is to create an infrastructure fund, which we already have created, by the way and to get it going off the ground. These are things which don't happen in India. So that is the problem. So that is why. Having said that, the second thing is, of course, on the diplomatic side. Uh, people have been disappointed with India on this count for many years. Now. And this Make in India program for the last six years has been in progress. Nothing much has happened. Some things have happened here and there. Nothing much has happened. So while anti-globalization perhaps will not happen on a large scale. What will definitely happen is the supply chain reconstruction. A reconstruction of the supply chain, especially for where India can take advantage of, some part of it will be big enough for us. For example, in textiles, for example, in uh, auto components, 
these are sitting ducks you know where we we have expertise